says this guy needs prayer. He's part of the problem in this country. He says eyes are closed. He doesn't get it. Do you think I'm spending all my money? I want to save your country, our country, both of our countries. You're spending That's all your money because you've been conned by Donald Trump. I'm sorry. You Donald Trump has nothing to do with it. Don't you get We're it? We're at a Trump rally. We're at a Trump yeah. rally. God bless you all. Um, I know a lot of you are out in the parking lot, and you probably see me getting attacked by a journalist out there. Um, well, you guys, uh, and I thank you for all trying to get involved there, but this is how we get the word out. This guy must work for Dominion and Smartmatic. Yeah. Shut him down! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut him down! It's better than working for Russia like you do. I mean, I, you're helping I, Vladimir Putin undermine the election. I'm the American dream on steroids. I was an ex-crack addict and found Jesus Christ. You need help. This kid yeah. needs prayer. Yeah. We need to pray for him. I was a former crack addict who found Jesus is not quite the defense of your character you might think it is, but Mike Lindell risked everything, his wealth, his reputation, even his pillow warehouse, to support Donald Trump and his bogus stolen election lie. Lindell's fortune went towards funding various initiatives to validate the big lie and gather support for Trump's coup, a literal coup attempt on the U.S. government, which of course failed, thankfully and barely. But despite this, Lindell's once mighty Lenin's empire suffered another humiliating blow recently. His company was evicted from his Minnesota building after falling $200,000 behind rent to the landlord. You know your pillow company's not doing great when it no longer has a place to store the pillows. He says eyes are closed. Pillows once made have to be stored before they're shipped out. Otherwise, they're just outside. And then... You know, you can't sell them. I ask you about something that worries me personally. So after the election, Donald Trump brought these 62 cases to different courts, and all of them were shot down, mostly due to evidentiary reasons. So why was that? No, that's a lie you just told. Why? Well, 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 no judge in the United States looked at any of the evidence based on merit. All the cases were thrown out. On 33 of them were no, shot down due to evidentiary reasons. No, they, the standing cases were no, people were looking for crazy remedies, like no, flipping states no, entirely. No, that's not true. I've, I've, I've got millions of dollars in this. All the cases that were brought up, no judge looked at the evidence based on merit. They were kicked out on standing, or they, and they kicked the can down the road. But I do love when people who are trying to tear down the very precious and precarious democracy we have in America finally suffer consequences, because you cannot live in a world or a nation where people don't have any consequences for trying to destroy that nation. Otherwise, more people will do it, because there are some real selfish, narcissistic, malintended people out there. So before losing the warehouse, Lindell was hit with a $5 million dollar judgment owed to a software engineer who participated in Lindell's Prove Mike Wrong Challenge. And if someone comes forward and says, this is BS, and I'm going to show you why, and he's going to show how what you're showing is not the truth and invalid, this person will get $5 million, right? $5 million at that symposium. That'll be live streamed on TV. That's why we put up the five million, or I put up the five million myself. He called it the Prove Mike Wrong Challenge to bunk what he claimed was data evidence of Chinese interference in the 2020 election. And wouldn't you know it, someone did. Now, after a ruling from a federal judge affirming an earlier decision in arbitration, Mike Lindell has 30 days to pony up. $5 million to a Nevada computer forensics expert who voted for Donald Trump twice. This, by the way, is somebody who wanted Lindell to be correct and believed that he was going to be validating data that Lindell claimed he had that was undeniably proof of China's involvement in turning the election to Biden when supposedly Trump actually won. And Lindell claimed nobody could debunk it, so he offered all over media $5 million to anybody who could. And it turns out the data just literally is random nonsense. This man was trolled. It was just random sequences of numbers and IP addresses that this man now has been found liable for the $5 million prize and has to pay $5 million to a guy who was on his side. I mean, this stuff would be very hard to make up, but sometimes real life is that much fun, I suppose. Lindell has stepped on more rakes than Sideshow Bob. It's hard to believe Trump even takes this guy seriously anymore. He went to the podium at the rally and said, you probably saw me being attacked out there in the parking lot, but that's how we get the word out. Being attacked in parking lots is how you get the word out? You almost feel bad for him. I mean, you don't, and I don't. But almost, maybe, because he's probably just been duped. It seems to some degree the man genuinely, if not completely, believes what he's saying about the election, because he believes wholeheartedly in Donald Trump, who is one of the most notorious compulsive liars of all time. He was the money bags of Trump's operation to overturn the election, so Trump took him very seriously. Until he didn't. But he still lets him speak at his rallies. People ask me all the time, Mike, did going all in for the president hurt your business? 
The answer is always the same. Absolutely not. The best day at my pillow is right now, today. Lawyers defending the My Lumpy Pillow guy are seeking to dump him as a client. Why? Apparently because he hasn't oh. paid them. <laughs> Attorneys for Lindell claim he is months behind yeah. on paying their legal bills, amounting to millions of dollars. The fact of the matter is Lindell was just conned. He was conned and taken advantage of by Trump, and he's just way too deep to ever admit it. So he's going to keep on pushing election lies, and he's still facing the defamation lawsuits from the voting machine companies that already won judgments, and Fox News had to pay nearly a billion dollars to, and Lindell's going going to probably owe an enormous sum as well. And you're going to have a lot of pillows to sell and no warehouse to store them in to try to make up that amount of money. Everyone loves our president. Some just don't know it yet. <laughs> Woo! I'm Ben Glebe for Rebel HQ. Follow me at Ben Glebe on Instagram for lots more.